We are on the final stretch of this course now. We learned about more core Django features and now we're going to apply all of them on our project, on our course project. We're going to continue building our blog and in this course section we are going to add a comments section with forms so that users, non-logged in users can leave comments. So outside of the admin section, which we already added before, now we're going to add user facing forms. And that's of course something we did learn over the last course sections. We are also going to add a read later feature where we can mark posts as read later and we then have a new page on our website where we can view all those marked posts and we are going to implement this with sessions so that every user has his or her own list of read later posts and we're also going to add file uploads because until now when we add a new post, we always just type in the image name and we then rely on that image being pre-stored in our source code in the end. And that's not realistic. It would be more realistic that we can upload an image from inside here when we create a post and that it then is stored and that it is then stored automatically by Django. And these are, of course, all things we did learn about over the last course sections. So therefore now we're going to implement them step by step. As before, definitely feel free to pause for a second and try this on your own first. Take this as a practice and try implementing those features on your own first before you then come back and we implement it all together.